In this video, I'm going to show you how to change logos like this on scroll inside of Elementor, and it's going to be super easy. Now, just a heads up, this is a second video in a series of three that I am creating for advanced headers inside of Elementor. Each of the tutorials could be used as its own standalone effect where you can make a cool effect for your Elementor header, but all three of them are gonna combine into a super dope header like this, which is coming inside of the next video. For this video, we're just gonna cover the changing logos on scroll. To get started, we need to create this hide reveal effect where the header goes up and it slides down on scroll. This way, when the logo changes, it is changing off screen, which prevents any weird transitions. Now we are going to go fast creating this effect since we did this in detail in the last video. So if you want to see how to edit it and also how I created my header, then check out that last video after you've watched this one. I'll leave a link to it in the description. To do this, we're gonna add a couple of code snippets. Now I'm going to use a code snippet management plugin, Fluent Snippets, it's a free one. I do recommend using something like this, especially when we start to add a lot of snippets cause it'll help you keep everything organized and clean. To find the snippets, look for the link in the description of the video called Hide Reveal Effect. And that is gonna take you to this blog post right here. We're gonna first copy this little bit right here. This is gonna be for our class. Go to the container wrapping your entire header in advance and add your class in right over here. It's gonna be lightbox-header. Next up, let's go back over to that blog post and we're gonna grab this code snippet. This is gonna be the JavaScript or JS. Just click on copy code. Go back over to your Fluent Snippets. I already created a snippet for my JS. Then just paste in your snippet and make sure it is activated. Next, let's go back over to the same blog post and we're gonna copy just one more code snippet and this is gonna be for our CSS. Go ahead and copy that code. Back over here in Fluent Snippets. I already created that snippet again. Like I said, we're gonna go fast with this. We went into detail in the last video. But in here, go ahead and just paste in your CSS. And with that, the hide reveal effect should be working just like this. Now we're ready to add the changing logos. There's another link in the description that says changing logos code. So go to that and it's gonna take you to this blog post right here. All we need to do is copy this code snippet of CSS. Go back over to your fluent snippets. Let's add a new snippet. We're going to set this to CSS and paste it in. Nothing needs to change in this code snippet. You leave it as it is. Let's go ahead and give it a name. I'm gonna call mine changing logo on scroll CSS just to make it easy to identify, create the snippet and then activate it. Now this is good to go. There's one more snippet that we need to add. Let's go over here. Again, add in new snippet. This time it is going to be a JS. JavaScript or scripts. Back over to the blog post, scroll down to the end, and we're gonna copy this code snippet. This is going to add a class on scroll that is going to allow us to target on not only the logo, but the entire header. And then let's go back over here to Fluent Snippets. I am going to paste this in. Let's give it a name. I'm gonna call this add class on scroll JS, then create the snippet and activate it. Now let's go back over to our header template. Everything is ready to go. All we need to do now is add in our second logo and a couple of classes. So we are going to add a logo right next to this. I'm going to use an image widget, drop it right in here. Everything's going to jump out like this. It's okay. We'll fix it when we add in our logo. Now I'm going to put in my brand mark. But this works really good if you're gonna use like a light logo and a dark logo and change the colors on the background on scroll, which by the way, the code snippets I gave do that and the last video shows how to do it. And then the next video, number three, is gonna show how to change everything inside of your header. Let's go ahead and just change the size and focus on changing our logos right now. I'm gonna give this a 30 pixel and then we are going to give it a class. So back over here to our blog post, you're gonna see the first logo is gonna get this class right here, logo number one. And I added in this copy code just to make it really easy to copy this. Let's go back over and we're gonna to go to our first logo. This is the one that is going to show initially 
over in advanced down to CSS classes. Go ahead and paste that in logo dash one. Now the next class is going to be very simple logo dash two. We're going to copy that. We are going to give that class over here in our CSS classes and you're going to see it disappears right away. If it didn't disappear, just refresh your page. And this is a good indication that it is working. Let's go ahead and publish this. Take a look at it in the front end. I'm gonna go over here to customize so I can see what it looks like without the admin bar covering part of it. And now we can see it is changing logos on scroll. You're good to go. If you have any questions, drop them inside of the comments. And to continue with the series, creating advanced headers inside of Elementor, then go here to this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.